Hello my friends, welcome to today's video. There is background noise. I can't hide it, but I have to shoot this video now. So we're just gonna have to live with it. Is that cool? Awesome. So, I have been doing this whole blogging thing since 2011. Yes. And I've been doing YouTube for properly now, like the way I'm doing it now almost coming up to a year and a half but i probably made my first video i don't know three years ago maybe it doesn't really matter the exact time frames what does matter is that i've done a lot of blogging i've done a lot of writing and publishing on that platform and and i have done more than i believe 250 videos now on my youtube channel coming up to 10,000 subscribers hopefully soon. That'd be awesome, big milestone that I've been wanting to reach. Not necessarily because of the number, because that makes my ego feel good. More because I feel like I'm just reaching a lot of people that are open to my messages and way of living and thinking and feeling and that in itself makes me really happy. So anyway, I've I'm basically in two worlds. I'm more in the YouTube world these days than I am in the blogging world. I created one of Germany's biggest travel blogs in 2012. Before that, I had another blog in English called The Life of Blue. So yeah, I've been uh, doing this for quite some time now. And right now though, I really feel extremely drawn to just making videos. And that's not to say that blogging is not good enough for me anymore. I think blogging was so awesome for me to get into because I always loved writing and I still do. And blogging allowed me to put my writing into a format onto a platform that could reach many people and now ends up reaching, you know, tens and thousands of people. And as much as I love writing and taking photos and integrating those photos into my blog posts, there was this one point where I realized I have an issue with blogging. <laughs> no, not necessarily with blogging. I had an issue with my writing. So whatever came up here and in here didn't come out the way I wanted it to in my writing in my blog posts or even on social media. And when I discovered making videos for myself, I realized, wow, so I can basically be 100% myself and people won't be able to interpret my words because when I'm sitting in front of the camera, that's me. That's 100% me. There's nothing to hide. There's nothing to fake or act as if it's just really me. And video in that way, was such a beautiful opportunity for me because I got quite a lot of, you know, critics and haters and as you do when you're a blogger, it just happens or here on YouTube, same thing. But I felt like I could, there was this gap where here is what I wanted to transport, the message or, you know, what I believed in and what I thought and experienced. And then this is what the reader received on his or her end. And so there was this gap in the middle, that space where the reader could interpret whatever he wanted into my words and oh, that's getting loud. And that became really frustrating for me. And by making videos, I'm closing this gap. So of course you can still imagine all sorts of things about me because obviously YouTube is not 100% my life. <laughs> there is a lot more to my life than just making videos and telling you things and ideas and thoughts and feelings, but not as much. I want my, my desire, my need, you know, a year and a half or two years ago when I got so frustrated with writing and blogging was that I felt like people didn't see me the way I wanted to be seen. People didn't read my words the way I wanted my words to be read. And then video came along <laughs> and 
last year in March I did my first 30 day YouTube challenge and I realized it's super hard. It's so much harder than writing and publishing a blog post. It's incredibly difficult in the beginning for most people. Some people they're just natural born YouTubers. <laughs> they just kind of came out that way. But because it is so difficult it's also been a really amazing challenge for me to grow. The amount of times that I've had to stretch my comfort zones when I sit in front of the camera or even when I make daily vlogs has been intense but and at the same time just so beautiful. So I've grown so much through making these videos. It's really, oh man, there's so many reasons why I love doing this and made me a better public speaker. Um, I'm definitely so much more confident in myself, the woman that I am, outside of just making videos, for sure, in my daily life, totally. Um, I feel like the feedback that I get through my videos, through YouTube, from you as the viewer, is so genuine and, and beautiful and it makes me feel like, wow, I'm so appreciated. It makes me feel so ex extremely grateful. And whereas with blogging, my issue was that, oh man, I, I never had that feeling, even though I got a lot of beautiful emails and comments as well, besides, you know, some of the, the haters and the critics, but I never had that feeling of, yeah, they really appreciate me for who I am. They only like the tips or the photos or because, you know, I write nice words, I put them in a nice order and they read well. So in that way, blogging in itself wasn't as satisfying. I really apologize for all the noise in the background, but this is Bali and I'm going to stop apologizing for it now. I forgot the last thing that I said, doesn't matter. Blogging, yeah, blogging, wow. Blogging really didn't satisfy my need to feel understood and seen. And making videos and putting them on YouTube does. One's not better than the other. I believe, you know, blogging is perfect for so many people out there and making YouTube videos is you know, the perfect thing for other people. I think you have to figure out what you're good at, um, but also look into where there is the fear maybe of doing what might, you know, enable you to grow more. And so a lot of people stick with blogging because they're afraid to make videos, even though deep down they really like to make videos. But they stick with blogging because we can hide behind words. It's a lot easier than sitting right here and speaking into this lens. But yeah, I don't want to hide. Making a video is also a big challenge because I don't script my videos. Sometimes I have notes, whatever, but most of the time, whatever I publish is completely imperfect because my words don't come out the way that I'd like them to sometimes. And that's okay, and I've mentioned this before. And to be able to live with this imperfection, especially right now as I'm making 30 videos in 30 days again, I don't have the time to edit a whole lot. I don't have the time to flesh out some of the ideas. So that's definitely a big drawback. But at the same time, it teaches me to be okay with my imperfections and love myself more, not less. And whereas with blogging, you can be super perfectionist about it and make every word perfect because you can control it. But I can't control every single word that comes out of my mouth right now. I can to a certain extent, obviously, but not as much as I can when I write. So that's why making videos is much harder, I believe. Nevertheless, I believe everybody should make videos because it will help you in your personal growth so much. It will help you connect to yourself so much. You just, you learn so much, not just about, you know, making videos and editing and what all goes into it, but, you know, the soft parts. 
the watching yourself, listening to your own voice. It's something that we're not used to. It's a beautiful process that I've discovered for myself. And sometimes it's really hard to make videos, trust me. And sometimes I can't wait. Like I wake up in the morning, I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna make this video. And today it was more like, and I'm on detox, my juice fast, uh, my body wants coffee and I'm not giving it to him and so I'm feeling a bit sluggish and low and also getting used to not eating and so I'd rather not make a video but I'm making it anyway because I know that once I publish this I feel awesome that I did it. That's all I got for today. If you have any questions about blogging versus vlogging or why do you like one more than the other, what has been your experience, please do share. Let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed my video, give me a thumbs up. I'll see you tomorrow in the next one. Bye bye. Mwah.